Hello, welcome to River Flow Yoga. It's Serena here. So today I have prepared for you a one hour session. This session is focused on movement flow. We will go through a lot of postures in this flow. Some arm balancing, hip openers and back bending. In case you're a beginner, this flow is a little bit advanced. You might want to try it out, but make sure that you're using blocks and belts to help you out. Always listen to your body and move with awareness. I hope you enjoyed this flow. Thank you. Let's start by finding a comfortable seated position. With your legs folded and your back long and straight. Close your eyes and take a deep breath into your nose and out through the mouth. One more time, deep inhale, fill your lungs, fill your belly, long full exhale. And then start to breathe only through the nose, allowing the breath to be soft and gentle. And on the next exhale, release your chin down to your chest. And then we're gonna start to move in half circles, bringing the right ear to the right shoulder, and then chin to chest, half a circle, left ear to left shoulder. Keep going, try to follow your breath. Maybe inhale as you bring your ear to your shoulder, and exhale as you bring your chin down. And then from here, lift both arms all the way up into the sky. And with an exhale, release your arms behind you, interlace your fingers and squeeze your shoulders back. Lifting the chest and then folding forward, bringing the arms over the head. Take it slow, we just started. And again, inhale to come back, look up, lift the chest, open the heart. And with an exhale, Fold it forward as far as you can. And again from here, come back. Release your arms and bring them all the way over your head. Now from here, with the right hand, grab the left wrist and start to stretch toward the right side. Keep opening the heart here. And then come back. Switch and stretch all the way to the left. Come back. Release your arms and shift your way into your all fours. And we're going to move in cat and cow. So we're going to inhale to look up, open the shoulders back. And when you exhale, you're going to round the upper back, bring the hips in and push the floor away. And again here, inhale, look up, open the shoulders, follow your own breath. And from here, come back to neutral. Engage your core and stretch your right leg behind you. And then with the next hey, bring your right knee in toward the nose, round the upper back. Inhale to stretch it back parallel to the floor. And exhale to bring it into the nose. Inhale back. And this time bend your leg and reach the toes toward the back of your head. And exhale, bring knee to nose. Again, keep your leg bended. Inhale and lift up. Go into a small back bend. Come back, knee to nose. And then from here release and switch sides. Stretching the left leg parallel to the floor. Keep the hips aligned and the next head bring knee to nose. Inhale, stretch it back parallel to the floor. And again, engage the core, exhale, knee to nose. Now keep your leg bended and inhale to lift it all the way up, trying to touch the toes to the back of your head. And with the next head, bring it back in, round your upper back. One more time, inhale, lift your leg, lift your chest, exhale to round, bring knee to nose, and then release it down into the floor. Take a deep breath here and exhale, and then tuck your toes and shift back into your downward facing duck. Keep your shoulders relaxed and your buttocks lifting up to the sky. And then from here we're going to Move forward with the spine into plank position. So you're going to be moving the spine like a snake. 
all the way to the front to plank and then release the hips for upward facing dog. Lift the hips back up, shift down at facing. Let's do it one more time. Keep engaging your core, engage your glutes and engage your legs in upward facing dog. Shift it back, down at facing. Perfect. One more. Forward. Release the hips. Lift the chest. And again, lift the hips up, shift back, down and facing dog. And from here, just take a big step to the front and find your standing forward bend. Bend your knees and have hip distance between your feet. And then release down, bringing the belly to touch the thighs. With an inhale, stretch the leg and bring the back parallel to the floor. Let's do it one more time. Exhale, bend the knees, bring the belly to touch the thighs. Inhale, stretch the leg, stretch the spine and look forward. And then release, maybe move the shoulders a little bit, release the neck, the spine. And with an inhale, shift yourself into your standing position. And bring the arms in Namaste in front of the heart. Inhale, lift your arms up and exhale to fold forward, bringing your palms all the way up into the sky. And again, inhale, lift up into standing, lift the arms up. Exhale, bend the knees, bring the arms, the fingertips toward the sky. And from here, place your arms on the floor and step back with the left leg, releasing the left knee down. And since it's a movement flow, we're going to move here a little bit, releasing the left knee away from the floor and pushing the left heel back. And then releasing the knee back down into the mat. Again, inhale, lift it. Exhale, release it. One more. Inhale. And exhale this time back into your plank. With your core engaged, and with an exhale, release knee, chest and chin. Inhale to find your cobra, and exhale back to find your downward facing dog. Shoulders are relaxed, you're activating the palms by pushing them equally into the floor. And then inhale and lift the left leg up, point the toes. And exhale, bring the thigh to touch the belly and then step forward between your palms. Keep your right knee away from the mat, stretch the spine, lengthen to the crown of the head. And then exhale to step forward into your standing forward bend. Inhale and come all the way up. And when you exhale, fold forward, bring the fingertips up to the sky. One more time, inhale up to standing, lift the arms up. And exhale, fold forward, fingertips to the sky. Release your arms down, lengthen the spine parallel to the floor. And then exhale to fold. This time we're going to step back with the right leg. First release it into the mat. And then start to stretch the leg. Again, exhale, knee down. Inhale, knee up. One more. And step back, find your plank. Shoulder wrist on the same line. With an exhale release, knee, chest and chin. Deep inhale to find your cobra, push the buttocks back to the heels. And then long full exhale back into your downward facing dog. Make sure you're spreading your fingers wide open here. Next inhale, lift the right leg up, point your toes. And then step forward using your core. Keep the left knee away from the mat, push the left heel back, and step it forward for standing forward bend. With an inhale, come all the way up into standing, and with an exhale, bring the hands in Namaste in front of the heart. On the next inhale, inhale and lift your arms all the way up into the sky. Lengthen the spine and then exhale and find your chair pose. Make sure that you can see your toes 
and then bring your arms behind you, interlace your fingers together, and then release your back so you're parallel to the floor, with the arms and the fingertips reaching all the way up into the sky. And then slowly, slowly, with your back straight, start to go deeper into your standing forward bend. One more breath here. Remember to breathe only through the nose. Lift your back, release your arms, up and step back with the left. Release the left knee down into the floor. And then shift your weight back and flex your right toes so the right leg is completely straight. Shift it forward again for your low lunge with the arms over the head. We're going to do this two more times. Exhale back. And then inhale forward for low lunge with the arms over the head. Last one, exhale, shift your head back, flex your right toes, stretch your right leg completely. Come back, forward, arms up. And now from here, you're going to bend the left leg and reach with your right hand to grab the left foot. So you're in a twisting position. And you're going to move back and forth. So you're going to stretch your right leg and then bend it again. Keep the grip on the left foot. Let's do it one more time. And then release and shift back to find your plank. Now you have the option to release in Chaturanga or knee, chest and chin. Finding either upward facing dog with your thighs away from the mat or just your normal cobra. And then with an exhale, go back for downward facing dog. With your core engaged, and your spine long and straight, lift the left leg up to point your toes. And then step forward between your palms. Release your right knee down into the floor and bring your arms over your head. And then with an exhale, release and step forward. Find your standing forward bend with your back parallel to the floor. And then with an exhale, fold. Deep inhale to come all the way up into the standing. Tuck the tailbone and lengthen the spine. And when you exhale, find your chair pose. Tailbone is tucked in and core is engaged. Interlace your fingers behind you. Bring your back paddle to the floor. Stretch your legs, palms lifting to the sky. And again, from here, start to go deeper into your pose. If you need to bend the knees a little bit, go ahead. And then slowly from here, start to come out of the pose, releasing their arms down into the mat. And this time we're going to step back with the right leg. Release the right knee down and bring your arms all the way over the head. And then with the next hip, shift your hips back, flex your left toes, stretch the left leg completely. Again, inhale forward, arms up. Follow your own breath. Exhale, arms down, hips back, flexing the toes, stretching the legs. One more time. Do it with control. Breathing only through the nose. And from here, we're going to come back, start to bend the right leg, twist to the left and grab the right foot with the left hand. Now, if this is too much for you, you can always use a block under your right palm. And from here, you're gonna start to move a little bit back and forth with the hips, stretching the left leg and then bending it. And with an exhale, you're gonna release and shift back to find your plank position. Shoulder with same line, heels are pushing back. And exhale to release any way you want to. Inhale for cobra or upward facing. If you're in upward facing, really engage your glutes and your thighs. And then shift back, downward facing duck. Relax your shoulders away from your ears. And inhale to lift the right leg up. And then take a big step forward between your palms. Release your left knee down and bring your arms over the head to stretch the spine, stretch the side of your body. And then exhale to step forward for standing forward bend. With the back parallel to the floor, 
exhale to fold and then inhale to come all the way up lengthen and when you exhale bring your arms in namaste and with a deep inhale inhale lift your arms over your head lengthen the spine and then exhale to fold forward bringing the fingertips all the way to the sky inhale and then bring your back parallel to the floor with your arms in front of you then exhale release forward bend fingertips to the sky inhale come back backs parallel to the floor arms in front of you core is engaged and exhale to release and now step back with the left leg keeping the left knee away from the mat and with an inhale lift your right hand up and find your twist and with an exhale release your right hand all the way down into the floor one more time Inhale, lift your right hand up, stretch to the right side of your body. And exhale, release it down. Last one, inhale, reach high. Core is engaged, hips are stable. And release it down. And now step back, find your core is engaged. And this time we're going to shift back and find our downward facing dog. And then from here, we're going to move forward like a snake into our upward facing dog. Releasing the hips down, engaging the glutes and engaging the thighs. Lifting the chest and opening the shoulder. Make sure that there's no compression in the lower back. And then shift down at facing dog. With an inhale, lift your left leg up and point your toes. And then with an exhale, bring knee to nose, round the upper back. One more. Inhale, stretch it back. And exhale, bring it in. Go back, downward facing dog. And from here, step forward with the left between the palms. Inhale and lift your left hand for your twist. Grounding the right hand down into the mat. Release it down and step forward into your standing forward bend. With your back parallel to the floor. And then fold. Inhale and come all the way up into standing. Arms over the head. And with an exhale, find your chair pose. Make sure that you can see your toes. And then with an exhale, fold it forward. Inhale, back spiral. And exhale to fold. Now step back with the right and keep the knee away from the floor. Ground the right hand down and lift the left one for a twist. Make sure that your hips are not moving, you're twisting from the upper body. Release it down and again, inhale, bring it up. Exhale down, one more time. Inhale, find your twist. And exhale, release, back into your plank. One more breath. And then shift back, down at facing dog. Bring yourself all the way to the front. Find your upward facing. You're strong here, strong in the arms, strong in the core and the legs. Go back, down at facing dog. Lift the right leg up and point your toes. Core is engaged, shoulders are relaxed. And we're going to start with an exhale, bring knee to nose. Inhale back, point your toes. One more, exhale, bring it in. Inhale back, point your toes. And this time from here, step forward between your palms. Ground the left hand down and lift the right one for twist. Make sure that you're not dropping your hip toward the left side. And exhale to release and step forward. Back spiral to the floor and then fold. With a deep inhale, come all the way up into standing. And then when you exhale, hands and namaste. Take a deep inhale here and long full exhale. And then the next inhale, bring your arms over the head. Tuck your tailbone and engage your core. And then exhale and fold it forward. 
And now simply step back and find your plank. Have shoulder wrist on the same line and core is engaged. I'm going to move into side plank, starting on the left side. In side plank, keep lifting your hips up and pushing them forward. Your core is engaged. Come back and shift all the way to the right. Come back all the way to the other side. And again, shift it to the right. Come back, shift it to the left. And this time, lift your right leg up. Step it forward behind you, drop your hips down into the floor, rotate your toes forward and then lift up and find your right thing, trying to touch your right fingertips into the mat. With control, come back, release your hips. One more, inhale, lift up, wild thing. And from here, shift into side plank, back to plank and side plank to the right. Again, lifting the left leg up, stepping back, releasing the hips, and inhale, find your right thing, lift your hips, lift your chest. Let's do it one more time, release it down, touch the hips to the floor, with a deep inhale, lift up as much as you can, push your feet into the mat, and then come back and find your side plank, shift it to plank, and release it down in chaturanga, or knee chest and chin. Come back, find your downward facing duck. Shift it forward, upward facing duck. Deep inhale here. Go back, downward facing duck. Inhale and lift your right leg up, point your toes. And then bend your right leg and start to do circles with the knee. Do three in one direction. And when you're done, switch to the opposite direction. Feel the hip movement here. One more. And release it down. Let's do the other side. Lift the left leg, bend it, and start to do big circles with the knees. And from here, switch direction three times. Opening the hip as much as you can. Core is still engaged. And release it down. Drop down to the knees. And then release into your child pose. Staying one more breath. And then slowly start to lift your chest and come to sit on the knees with your toes tucked. And we're going to be moving into camel pose, placing your hands on your lower back, lifting your chest, controlling your core, and going back into your back bend. Make sure you're not feeling any compression in the lower back. With control, come back and sit on your heels. One more time, lift up, lift the chest, go back as much as you can. When you want to come out of the pose, come up chest first to avoid any compression on the lower back. Release the pose, take a breath, and do it one more time. Now you can keep your hands on your lower back, or maybe you can try to reach your right hand toward the heel, and then your left hand toward your left heel, going into your full camel pose. Taking one deep breath here. And then with control, with your core is engaged, start to come out of the pose, and shift into child pose, relaxing the buttocks down to the heels, relaxing the forehead into the mat. Allow the breath to slow down, breathing only through the nose, in and out. And with an inhale, start to come back and find your downward facing duck. Make sure your shoulders are relaxed, your core is engaged, and lift your left leg up, point your toes. Step forward between your palms, and we're going to find warrior two. So rotate your right leg 90 degree, lift your chest, and find your warrior two. With your left leg bended, knee ankle on the same line, 
core is engaged and tailbone is tucked in. Remember to keep pushing the outer edge of the right foot as well. And now reverse your warrior back and with an exhale, find your extended warrior two with your elbow down on your left knee. Inhale, come back into warrior two and then stretch the left leg, bend the right one and shift yourself to the right side. Warrior two to the right. Inhale and reverse. And exhale, extended warrior two. Make sure that you have a nice straight line on the side of your body. And with an inhale, come back to warrior two, stretch the right leg, bring your right toes in. And then bring your right and your left toes out for sumo squats. Opening the hip as much as you can. Inhale, stretch the leg, lift the arms over the head. And then exhale, sumo squat, palms to the knees. One more, inhale, straighten the legs, lift up. And exhale, sumo squat. And now from here, start to bring your right shoulder towards your left knee. Do a circle and then bring the left shoulder to the right knee. Keep moving here, stretching to the side of your body. And then stretch your leg, lift up, stretch the arms over the head. Release your arms and bring your toes in so your feet are parallel to each other. Interlace your fingers behind your back, squeeze the shoulders together, lift the chest and then fold it forward, bringing the arms over the head. And now bend your knees here. Release the buttocks down a little bit and then straighten the legs. One more. Bend and then straighten. Last one. Bend and straighten the legs. And now from here, release your arms and reach for your toes. Take a deep breath in, long full breath out, and then place the left hand on the right toes and lift the right hand for twist. Try to ground your hips as much as you can. Come back and switch sides, twisting all the way to the left, and come back, release one breath, and with an inhale, shift yourself all the way into your sumo squat with the arms over the head and then straighten your legs shift yourself to the front of your mat find your downward facing dog and then shift it into your plank release knee chest and chin or chaturanga and then come back to plank shift back downward facing dog Shift it forward and find your upward facing. Engage your glutes, engage your arms. Go back, downward facing. Lift your left leg up and point your toes. And then bend your leg and try to open your hip toward the right side. Ground your shoulders here. And then shift and find your pigeon pose, releasing your left leg all the way down and then your right leg. Take a deep breath here, lengthen through the crown of the head. Slowly start to shift back into your downward facing dog with your leg bended, open the hip toward the right side. And then drop all the way to the right and find your wild thing. With control, come back, three-legged dog, step forward, pigeon pose. Feel your hips here, feel them stretching. One more breath. Go back, three-legged dog, and then release your left leg down. Let's do the other side. Inhale, lift the right leg up. Bend it. 
and then open the hip toward the left side. Breathe. With an exhale, come back and shift into your pigeon pose. Lengthen the spine, engage the core, tuck your tailbone. Make sure you're not feeling any pain in your knee. Slowly go back, three-legged dog. Open the hip toward the left side and drop back for your wild thing. Push your feet down, push your arms, lift the chest and lift the belly. Go deeper in your back bend this time. Control it, come back, find your pigeon pose. Breathe deeply here, in and out through the nose. One more breath. And then shift, three-legged duck, and release your right leg down into the floor. Take a deep breath. Lift your right leg up and again open the hip here and then bring your right knee to touch your right elbow. Hold it and then go back three-legged dog. Release it, inhale, lift the left leg up. First open the hip and then bring the left knee to touch your left elbow. Go back three-legged dog. With the same leg, step forward between your palms and you're going to find your triangle pose. So your left leg is going to be completely straight. Make sure that you are rotating your thigh and your left knee toward the left side. Your tailbone is tucked in. With an inhale, reverse your warrior and with an exhale, find your extended triangle pose. Breathe here. Keep tucking your tailbone in. And then see how far down you can come without rounding the side of your body. Bend your left leg, find your warrior two. And then bring your left toes in, right toes out, find your triangle pose on the right side. Again, engage your thigh, your core, lengthen the spine, and with an inhale, reverse your warrior back. And with an exhale, find your extended triangle pose. Again, try to maintain a nice straight line on the left side of your body. If you have a block, maybe use a block under your right palm. Holding for one more breath. And then bend the right leg, find your warrior two. Stretch the right leg, bring the right toes in. Inhale, lengthen the spine. And exhale, release your arms down. Maybe do a couple of circles with the neck. Or roll your shoulders. And then rotate yourself to the front of your mat. Place your hand on the floor, step back for your plank. Shifted back, downward facing dog. And then walk your palms back toward your feet. Bring your toes out and release down in your low sumo squat. Placing the elbow inside of the knees. With your back long and straight. Open the hips. Now option you can stay here. Or option, we're going to move into crow pose. Having your palms on the floor, shoulder distance apart. Your knees somewhere between your elbow and your armpit. And then shift your weight forward and try to lift one foot. And then lift the other one. If this is okay, hold your pose. If this is too much for you, just play around here with the weight. Shifting it forward and back. Once you've had enough, shift back and find your low squat. Hold for one breath, maybe two. And then let's try crow one more time. Now the trick here is to round your upper back and engage your core. 
and really push your fingertips into the floor. Look forward, not back. Stay with the breath. And then again, release. Find your squat. Shift it into your all fours. And let's find puppy pose. Keep your hips and your knees on the same line. Either place your forehead on the floor or if it's possible to place your chest on the mat. Your arms are straight in front of you, your core is engaged, you're lengthening your spine, you're stretching it, you're opening your shoulders here. Breathing deeply in and out through your nose. And then start to roll yourself and come to lay on your belly. Move your palms to the side of the mat, to the outside of the mat. Having your fingertips on the floor, elbow and wrist on the same line. With an inhale, lift your chest away from the mat. And with an exhale, fold it again. One more time. Inhale, straighten your arm, lift the chest. And exhale, fold it forward. Now, bring your arms behind you, interlace your fingers, squeeze your shoulders, with a deep inhale, core is engaged, lift the chest away from the floor. And with an exhale, fold. Shift back and find your child pose. Relax your breath here. And now from here, you have two options. Either you do your dolphin push-ups or you're going to find your pincha, your forearm stand. Wherever you are, first interlace your fingers around your elbows. Keep that space between the elbows, interlace the fingers together, and start to do your dolphin push-ups. Now, you can keep going with your dolphin push-ups as much as you want. Or maybe you can find your pincha. Now in pincha, you want to have your shoulder and your elbow on the same line. If you have a block, you can place a block between your palms. And slowly, you're going to start to kick one leg straight up into the sky and one leg bend it into the belly. If this is okay for you and you can balance yourself here, then you can bring both legs all the way up into the sky. Make sure that you're always lifting the shoulders away from the floor. You're engaging your core. Maybe do it a couple of times and then release in child pose. And then come back, try it one more time. Remember to look forward, keep the shoulder and the elbow on the same line. And go with small kicks. Try not to have a banana form here. Keep pointing your toes, tucking your tailbone and engaging your core. Once you've had enough, with control, release it down and find your child pose. Relax your breath. And slowly shift yourself into a seated position. With your legs straight in front of you, place your palms behind you with your fingertips facing your feet. And with an inhale, start to lift your hips, lift your chest, reach the toes all the way down into the floor. And then exhale and release it down. And now, Finding yourself in a seated position, bring your heels and your toes together in butterfly. Make sure your back is long and straight and just move your knees up and down a little bit, opening the hips even more. One more breath, keep moving. And now open the feet away from the groins so you have a diamond shape. Inhale, lift your arms up, lengthen the spine, and then exhale and fold forward. 
Inhale, come back up, lengthen the spine. Again, exhale, fold forward. One more inhale, lift up, lengthen. And this time, release your arms. Take a deep breath here. Maybe push your thighs down a little bit. And then stretch the left leg to the side and keep the right one bended. Inhale, lift your arms over your head. Make sure that your hips are grounded. And then place the left hand on the left leg and slide to the left side. Stretching your right hand over your head. Stretching to the right side of your body. Keep opening the heart here. And then come back and go all the way to the right. One more, come back all the way to the left. Back to the right, stretch as much as you can. Last one to the left, open the heart. And slowly release it down. Let's do the other side, bending the left leg and stretching the right one. Flexing your right toes, grounding your hips and engaging your core. Arms over the head, first right hand on the right leg, stretch to the side, come back all the way to the left, left hand down on the floor, maybe left elbow down on the floor, go back to the right, so you want to hold it, one breath here, one breath to the other side. Let's do it one more time. Stretching as much as you can, grounding your hips. And then come back and open your legs like a V. Flexing both toes. Inhale to lengthen the spine and exhale to fold forward. Now maybe you're not going to be able to fold and bring the belly all the way down into the ground. And that's perfectly fine. You don't need to. Just make sure that you're somewhere where you're pushing yourself a little bit but still respecting your body's limitation. Remember to always flex your toes and point them all the way up into the sky. Holding here and breathing deeply. And then slowly come back and start to release out of the pose. Place your feet on the floor and release your knees to one side. And then to the other side. And come back to center, lay on your back, and place your feet on the floor, hip distance apart, knee ankle on the same line. And you're going to move into bridge pose. Hands are next to you, lift your hips away from the mat. And exhale, release them back down. Again, inhale, lift them up, and this time bring your arms all the way behind you. Exhale, release it down, bring your arms next to your body. One more time. Inhale up, arms back. Exhale, release, arms next to you. Now from here, we're going to move into reverse pigeon, placing the left ankle on top of the right knee and releasing the right foot off the floor. Interlace your fingers behind your right thigh. Holding one more breath. And then release your arms, keep the legs as they are, and just drop them all the way to the right for a side body stretch. Maybe open the arms like you see next to you. And then come back, release, and switch sides. Hold here at first in your reverse pigeon. One more breath. And then release and release all the way to the left side. And then come back, release your legs and let's do bridge pose one more time. So knee ankle on the same line, lift your hips and this time place your palms under you. Kind of pushing yourself up to the sky even more with the hips and the belly. One more breath, and then exhale, release down. 
And now we're gonna move into one legged bridge. So again, come back, find your bridge, interlace your fingers together and lift the left leg up to the sky. Make sure you're pushing your shoulders down. Release your left leg and lift the right one up. Control your left knee, do not allow it to open to the side. Release it down, find your bridge and then exhale, release into the floor. Stretch your legs down into the mat and bend the right one into the belly and hug it. Keep flexing your left toes here. Now you can use the belt for the next pose or maybe just reach for your right toes and straighten the right leg completely, stretching the hamstrings here. If you have a belt and this is too much for you, place the belt on the foot and grab it with the hand. Again, release here, bend the right leg to the belly and hug it. One more time, straighten the right leg completely, reach for the toes or the belt. Release and let's switch sides. Bend the left leg into the belly and hug it really, really close. Keep flexing your right toes. And then straighten the left leg completely. Stretch through the hamstrings. One more time. Let's bend it and hug it. Stretch it back, flex your toes. Try to lock your left knee completely. And release. Now from here, we're gonna move into wheel pose. If you have any neck or back injury, please avoid wheel pose. Maybe just do another bridge. If this is okay for you, place your hands next to your head, hip distance between the feet. First, lift your belly, lift your chest and place the top of your head on the floor. If this is okay for you, lift all the way. Make sure you're not feeling any compression in the lower back. Keep your elbows straight. Keep your shoulders very close to your wrists. Your core is engaged. Now you have the option to stay in your wheel or maybe walk your feet forward and have your legs completely straight. One more breath and then with control, tuck your chin in and start to release down into the floor. Bend your knees to your chest and hug them and just wiggle a little bit from side to side, massaging the lower back. And from here, release your arms like a T and release your legs to the right. Come back and switch sides. And then slowly come back to the right. Last one, shift it to the left. Now after this pose, you have two options. You can either do your headstand, or if this is too much for you, maybe you wanna do your shoulder stand. In this video, I'm gonna show you headstand. For headstand, first you wanna map it. So you wanna have your elbow and your shoulders on the same line. Place them down on the floor and interlace your fingers together. Tuck your toes, stretch your legs, and then release the top of your head into the mat. Walk your toes very close to your elbows, and with control, lift one leg and then the other. If this is too much for you, maybe try to bend the knees into the belly. Please make sure that you're not kicking to find your pose. You want to use all your muscles here and protect your neck. If you're in headstand, keep engaging the core, keep tucking the tailbone in. And then slowly with control, bend your knees toward the belly and start to release all the way down into the mat, finding your child pose. Relaxing here for a couple of breaths.
And now from here, come to lay on your back. Bend your knees and hug them and squeeze yourself into a very, very small ball. Squeeze all your muscles as much as you can and then release for your Shavasana with your legs straight on the floor, your arms next to you and your palms facing the sky. Take a deep inhale into your nose and out through your mouth. Close your eyes and relax completely here. Relax your toes, relax all of your legs and relax your hips. Relax your belly and relax your chest. Relax your arms, relax your spine and your neck and allow your whole body to be heavy. Allow the breath to be shallow and just relax and enjoy your Shavasana. With a deep inhale, start to move your fingers and your toes. And then bring your legs together, your arms over your head, and stretch any way you want to. Try to keep your eyes closed, and then bend your knees and turn to the right side, finding your fetus position. And with your palms, push yourself all the way up into seated. Bring your hands and namaste in front of your heart. And with a big, big smile on your lips, open your eyes. Thank you. Namaste.